it was an outstanding speech. I, what I don't understand is what are white men afraid of? They have all the power. They have tremendous influence in this country. I can't believe that a single pastor of a relatively small church compared to some of the mega churches would be so threatening to white well, males in America. America. For start. I've never heard that kind of language in any church well, that I've attended. Him. I said I in any church that I've attended. No, but let's talk about the one he attended. Well, it's, it was wrong, and, and Obama said so. I mean, what else do you want from well, the you young man? You ask me what my white people are afraid of. They don't like people that... You mean they're afraid of that word, G.D.? Patrick, you when probably it, invented I'm it. Just, I was in St. Louis, South St. Louis. I heard J.B. Stoner give a speech like that. Jay, you know who J.B. Stoner oh, I was? J.B. Stoner. J.B., and he turned out later to have been somewhat maybe involved in the Birmingham bomber. I heard him talk about black people that way. But Jeremiah White talked about white folks. Now, yeah, yeah but thing, Pat, Chris, but know, Pat, but that's a little unfair, unfair my... because Jeremiah Wright, in all the years that I've known him, has never, never, never suggested that any white person be physically harmed in this country. Uh, let me, it tells us something about Barack Obama, who for 20 years sat there and listened to these anti-American racist rants, never stood up, never denounced them, never criticized them. They're worried, a lot of people like me, were worried about what it said about Barack Obama. Wait a minute, uh, this he is, answered are you that guys question. talking about the same black guy that carried Idaho? Are you talking about the same white guy that carried Wyoming? Yes. Are you t the black guy that carried Wyoming? I, I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm suggesting to you that, that both of you need to go to black churches more often. Well, look, and then, and, 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 and I'll tell why? you why. I'm because, hear that, because, I don't hear that, because well, first of all, if you go, you won't always hear it. Secondly, you, when I have been to black churches all right. my life, and I think a little right. been black a little longer than you have, just a little bit maybe, right. at least for, let, let's say for this show. And I'm here to tell you, we do in, to ministers what everyone does. You may not mm -hmm. directly confront the minister. Mm -hmm. You might when you walk out and say, Reverend, I don't know if I like that well, speech, but you certainly do go home well, and discuss it. Obama so for you to, su to suggest Barack that, do that well, Joe, let me well, talk. to suggest, to, first of all, to suggest that for 20 years he didn't say a word, he how does he know it. that? He didn't, why didn't he get up there and say, look, how do you I, know that? Well, because he didn't say it. He said, why didn't he say, I cut, I took Reverend Wright aside and I said, stop that filth and garbage, Reverend or my child and my wife were walking out of this church. He didn't do it. He didn't stand up like a man. He slipped the punch and he got out of Philly and he's down there talking about the war. The he did a is, smart thing. And, and the church, the black church, particularly that one, is much more than Reverend Wright. I don't recall too many presidential candidates going after the Joneses when they said okay, that black people no, hold on. You two guys stick around. We'll be right. I played the entire half an hour speech. I think it, we, we, we do a disservice when we play sound bites, what I call snapshots. If anyone heard that speech uninterrupted like I played it this morning, I think you walked away saying that was one heck of a speech. And no one should be offended by that speech. No one. When the people out in, in, in Pennsylvania and places like that, grassroots Democrats, I think he, this is a real problem for him. They see somebody like Wright, and Wright is everything they despise. And they say, what was Barack Obama doing hanging around with a guy like that? This is such a double standard. What was Trent Lott doing hanging around with Strong Thurmond? Well, he was why, the double, why the double standard? We don't like to hear our country spat upon and ranted against, the, no. and the U.S. government accused of putting AIDS the, the, into the, black folks when that is a lie, first, and it sounds like something from Fidel all, Castro. A, first of all, it's a debate that goes on, and it goes on every right. day. Is there an active debate about AIDS being it's perpetrated a, by look, the government? Look, guys, there's a debate that goes right. on. But it Joe, goes on, let me tell and you, that's that, what it is. You it's say a the debate. debate's going on. And you also had a candidate that said, I don't agree with All that right, You aspect say a debate's debate. going on, and what most of the guys I know, when they say they hear that guy, we don't want to talk to you. You go ahead and mouth off. We don't even then, want to hear from you. Then don't join Jeremiah's church. Okay, and we want to know why a guy did and sat there for 20 years and wants to be our president. Then I suggest you go to the church and listen to a full sermon. I don't, and see I don't if need to hear any more than that. Well, there's, see, there's so your problem. The problem Close mind. Minister, <laughs> they, that, what did he just his, say? His, I don't need to hear it. Uh, unfortunately. I'm going to go to Jeremiah's No, what, what I said you got to right do is, is put is out his favorite sermons and these are the